How are you? Good, thanks. Make this Swedish person blush. <laughs> Make this Swedish person... <laughs> I've already got the accent. Make this Swedish person blush as deeply... Make this Swedish person blush as deeply as possible. Are you Swedish? Yeah. I love Swedes. You have ten minutes. Your time starts now. <laughs> My God, that's impossible. Um... <laughs> Josh, my feeling is just from that tiny little moment there that you are the most uncomfortable with this task. It's the worst ten minutes of my life. <laughs> Let's see the tension between Josh and a Swedish man. <laughs> what, what's the most... So, so let's talk about embarrassment then. Mm -hmm. Have you ever had sex? Yeah. Have you seen any of the Emmanuel movies? No. OK. Did you... What, how do you imagine Alex Horn's naked body? Never. You've never but no. you, are, you are now? Yeah, I am now. Yeah, so what are you picturing now? How do you feel about the communal showers? No problem with that, no. No? no. <laughs> it's quite weird, because it's difficult to know what... The... So, who do you, who's, who'd be your dream celebrity to bed? No idea, actually. There's no celebrities you fancy? Not really. Claudia Winkleman? Don't know. You don't know who Claudia Winkleman is? Um... <laughs> it's a tough nut to crack. Thanks, Josh. No worries, that was the toughest task yet. That's not helped. Oh, no. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Do you fancy Claudia Winkleman? Let's not go into that. <laughs> well, I mean, they're, they're, interest, they're interesting frames of sexual reference for you. Alex Horn, the, the Emmanuel films. <laughs> I mean, they are 1970s soft porn films. Uh, communal showers. And, and then the leap to Claudia Winkleman intrigued me. <laughs> I'm sweating so much now. <laughs> Let's see how Frank and Ramesh got on. Hello. <clears throat> Will you do whatever I ask you to do? Probably not. Probably not? No. What kind of things make you blush, would you say? Don't know. What about if somebody speaks to you really close up like that? Don't you find that a bit strange? Your ears are completely devoid of hair. <laughs> I really like the physical contact. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. Can't really feel weird. Fred, I'm worried that I'm getting a bit of a pot belly. What do you... what do you think? Fine. Is there a reason you're not making eye contact with me? Not really, no. I couldn't make eye contact with oh, well, now no, we're getting no. on, aren't we? We're really getting on. I have a surprisingly bulbous vein on my private parts. <laughs> but it, it almost exactly resembles the point where the A40 joins the A315. <laughs> I once got it out in a park to explain to a lady directions. And, um, it led to a court case. <laughs> How does that make you feel? Yeah. I mean, I've got no idea. <laughs> I mean, I'm either going to make him blush or I'm going to sleep with him. I don't know which one of what it's going to be. You know what I'm talking about, though, don't you? <sighs> Fred, I think, I think you might have beaten me. I've got 30 seconds to embarrass you. Here comes the nuzzle. You ready for the nuzzle? Nuzzle, 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 nuzzle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. No I can only apologise, but that was just for the task, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But if you want to go for a drink or whatever, let me know. <laughs> I mean, so sexy. Yeah, I'm not proud of that. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you look proud of it. I thought we got on. Like, like well, I, th I really thought we did, but there's... It, what was disappointing was how little he blushed. And so the, the thing is, is that I realised that I was just touching him a lot. 
and he wasn't blushing at all. And it just, I just thought, I'm just groping a dude now. I, this is not, I'm not achieving anything in the task. It was horrible. See, I thought that he was blushing, but only from the neck down. <laughs> <laughs> was anyone else surprised Frank Skinner's got the belly of a 15-year-old boy? <laughs> Powerful homoeroticism, I really enjoyed it. It'd be interesting to see if a poet comes in at a different angle. Let's have a look at Tim. Say something in Swedish. Yeah, I'm Svensk. Prata Svensk. Um, can you say something else? Okay, can you say it in Swedish? This is my apartment. That I am in Lagnet. Make yourself comfortable. You're a cam. I'm going to pour us both. Some sherry. Scam hello plate sherry. I want to say I like <laughs> Can you say um, I like to <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. Let me get this right. <clears throat> um, I like to parade around in my little denim shorts. <laughs> Are you blushing? Say, um, when I get half a chance, I like to parade around in my little ble little denim jeans, waving. När jag får chansen så tycker jag att gå omkring i mina blåa shorts och vinka. Have you ever been handcuffed? No. You ever been whipped? No. Smothered in chocolate? No. Licked? No. Kicked? No. Kissed? No. Look at me. Yes. Don't look at my lips. I wish I'd kissed him. <laughs> if I had my chance again, just go and just blow on his lips. But actually, looking at it, I think he was blushing. I'll just write that down. If I'd had my chance again, I would have blown on his lips. <laughs> yeah, it's a strange regret to have. Really, thank you. Let's see if the uh, woman in the group took a different approach. Have you ever met anyone with three breasts? No. Would you like to see someone with three breasts? Yeah. <laughs> What about four? Is that too many? <laughs> yeah, that's too much. <laughs> Three is OK, though. Three is OK. <laughs> four, out of the question. OK. What about if you put your head in between your legs? Not for dirty reasons, just to <laughs> colour it up. Get yeah. A, get a flush going. So four breasts is too much. Yeah. Mm, three is sufficient. Yeah. Where would you have the third? In the middle or around the back? <laughs> in the middle. All right. Same size or just a mini one? Oh, why not a mini one? <laughs> 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 yep, getting there. Whoa. <laughs> Thank you. I think that's... I'm going to go with that as my finished... Don't be stopping with four minutes to go, which... That's fine. Thank you very much, Frederick. You went you. very... It was very good, very red. Roshi was the only person who thought to physically make him go red by applying science, in a way. <laughs> and I'm glad you thought of that, because I would argue that without that, <laughs> mentioning a withered back breast might not have... <laughs> may not have done it. I was trying to unnerve him. I don't want to be sexual. I'm not really good at being sexual, <laughs> sexy. So I was just trying to unnerve him, just make him feel like, oh, I don't know what she's going to say. Yeah, like you've got a mini tit on your back. <laughs> <laughs> worried that I might sort of get, a, you know, back boob out. Thank God you use science. I suspect you may have nailed this, but Alex... Yeah, we can see. I mean, Roche, blush chart. Roshin did make him go the reddest. Uh, Josh got him to Jasmine Shimmer. <laughs> then it's Cherry Blossom for Tim, uh, Fantasy Rose for Frank, Puce for Ramesh, and uh, Ballet Slipper sa slash Sangria from Roshin. Those are, those are the exact bits, so uh, Roshin wins. So the, the winner is... I'll be back tip. Comedy. <laughs> For more Taskmaster, subscribe now! <laughs>